Hello friends, it's Kitty. A couple of people have been asking me how to add a descriptor to their world, so I decided to quickly make this YouTube video explaining how to do just that. Um, here I have an old world of mine, and as you can see, I can't upload it because there is no scene descriptor, but that's fine. I'm going to quickly create a new object and rename it VRC World, but you can actually name it whatever you want, it doesn't matter at all. And then under the inspector tab, I'm going to come over here and click add component. And then I'll type VRC. And here you can see all of the possible components related to VRChat. Now what you're actually looking for is the VRC scene descriptor, which you can search for specifically and add it to your game object. You've just successfully added the VRC scene descriptor to your scene. Now, what you're going to want to do is actually configure it. I mean, technically you could just leave it like that and that's it, but you might want to consider using an actual spawn point. For example, here's mine. It's facing the direction of the blue arrow and it's placed where I want my players to spawn. You can go ahead and add that to the world descriptor so that you can have your players spawn there instead of wherever the descriptor is. You can also just move the scene descriptor where you want it instead. That works too. But I personally just like using a separate game object. Another thing that I recommend setting up is actually a reference camera, which is just a camera in your scene that's settings are duplicated for everyone in the world. This means that if you apply post-processing to this reference camera, then everyone who joins the world will have those effects applied to their screens. Also, if you've ever had an issue in certain worlds where if you get too close to someone or something, then it just disappears, you can fix that by applying a reference camera that has a short, near clipping pane. And that's pretty much the gist of it. You can look at other settings if you want. I actually changed two while I was talking a second ago. I'll explain those in the description, but you've pretty much just set up the VRC scene descriptor and you're good to go ahead and upload your world now. But what if you're not trying to upload your world? What if you're trying to update an existing world? So what you're actually going to do is you're going to come over here to your content manager tab and you're gonna go ahead and figure out which thing you want to update and you're going to click on a copy ID. What you're gonna do with this code is you're going to take it over to the VRC scene descriptor where you might notice another component was automatically added which is called the pipeline manager. You're just going to paste the code into the pipeline manager and click attach. And now when you upload the world, it's actually going to update an existing world instead of uploading a completely new world. And that's pretty much it. You are now armed with all the basic information you need to know about the VRC scene descriptor. Hey guys, thanks for making it to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. I'm just starting out and I'm really new to this whole video making thing. I can tell that it's something that I really want to do though because I enjoy helping other people, especially after reading everyone's comments from my last video, how they were telling me that I was helping them and that I helped them figure something out. It just warmed my heart and made me feel really good. So I'm going to continue trying to make these videos when I can in order to help other people out. I also wanted to thank my one Patreon supporter for their continued support. They've been supporting me for literally 22 months now. Like, thank you so much, Lucy Boo, for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. Also, from henceforth, if you want your name at the end of one of my videos, you can join my Patreon at patreon.com slash kittyhanahara. You can join the lowest tier. I will still put your name on there. Also, I do have a Discord server that's been going on for about a year now. If you'd like to join that, feel free to. You can find it at discord.gg slash kdt. If you would like help from any other members of the community or myself directly, you can actually give yourself the VRChat role and ask in the form channel that I've set up in the VRChat section. But once again, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you want, like if you want, doesn't matter to me. The fact that I'm helping people out there is all I need to know to keep doing this. So, uh, yeah.